Question 3. The best answer is A. In the first paragraph, the narrator describes Silas as having been so obsessed as to have felt required to worship the gold, which can be seen in the first sentence itself, in closed, locked solitude, with his thoughts in an ever-repeated circle leading to nothing beyond itself. This obsession, moreover, compels him to sit weaving longer and longer, deafened and blinded more and more to all things except the monotony of his loom and the repetition of his web. These lines convey the extent to which Silas's behaviours were determined by his obsession, which is expressed in choice A. Choice B is incorrect because the narrator does not make it seem as if Silas's gold could reproduce on its own, with the first paragraph suggesting that his hoard was a consequence of hard work, his being deafened and blinded, more and more. Choice C is incorrect because even if the first paragraph mentions that after Epe's arrival, Silas thinks about the ties and charities that bound together the families of his neighbours. The passage never addresses how Silas interacted with those neighbours previously. And choice D is incorrect because the third paragraph makes clear that Silas is not only able to recall life before EP, but that with her in his life, his mind was growing into memory.